Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5 LSPDFR. Today I am going to be doing a patrol down here in the city with the Los Santos Police Department. I'm going to be hanging out in the Vespucci area. Uh, in today's patrol I'm going to be using this absolutely beautiful Chevy Impala. Um, I don't believe I've ever used a Chevy Impala in this game since I started. I know I've used the Chevy Caprice a few times but I don't think I've ever had an Impala. Um, but this Impala is part of the LSPD pack that I use. And we have some very basic lighting on this thing. We have some front and rear lighting, just a couple of bars in the front, one in the back. And then we have ALPR in the, in the rear here. You can see we have a couple scanners. So we will be able to use our ALPR system today on the patrol. But uh, I've made a couple changes to my game that I want to talk to you guys about. The first one is I've added a new plugin, uh, which is called Super Events. Uh, I do have the Super Callouts plugin installed in my game and I've been using that for quite a while and I decided to add in the super events just to kind of spice up the ambient events that occur in the game. Uh, the second change that I've made is I removed LSPDFR Plus which is uh, Albo's plugin. Uh, to be completely honest with you guys I have never really used that plugin since LSPDFR 0.4 came out because it broke for me and the only thing that worked about it was the traffic stop interaction menu and then uh, Peter Yu's citations and stuff. That's the only thing that worked. So I removed it from my game. I do have the default LSPDFR traffic stop menu now. I did test it out make sure it works. It is going to be a little bit uh, weird to get used to using it because I haven't used it in ages. Actually, I take that back. I've never used it since I started LSPDFR 0.4. So anyway, we're going to see how it goes today. You guys are going to just be going along with me, see how it goes. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get out on patrol. 7 King 9, go and show me 1041, 10 8. I'm gonna be out here in Vespucci. What is this guy doing here in his sports car? I think we have a traffic stop right in front of us with this muscle car just pulling out in front of this guy. This guy's revving his engine. He's obviously pretty pissed off that this guy just cut him off. I'm going to go ahead and stop this uh, muscle car here. Is it going to let me blip them? No, it is not. I cannot blip anything. Well, let me blip this guy. I don't want to blip him. I want to blip the muscle car, so... I'm going to go ahead and run this red. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't letting me blip this guy, but... Looks like we're going to be sitting in another red light here waiting to pull this guy over. Go ahead and run his plate while I'm waiting. It's going to be a gauntlet. 2-4 Union Zebra Ocean 400. Target vehicle license plate. Two, four, Union, Zebra, Ocean. No four, flags. Zero, zero, no, 1099. Now he's obstructing traffic. We'll get him right through here. He's going to take a left. Cut off another vehicle. Cause an accident. Yeah, nice going, buddy. That's not going to be good for you here in just a minute. All right, 7 King 9, I'm going to be on a traffic stop. Southbound, Bay City Ave, across Vespucci Boulevard. Holy cow, that guy almost hit me. Uh, I'm going to be out with a uh, black bravado gauntlet, occupied times one. We already checked the plate. There's no flags. I'm going to go ahead and back up here. I'm going to pull off the road a little bit onto the sidewalk. I don't want to get hit, so. Go ahead and lock the ELS. I'll jump in here and slow down the traffic so it's a little safer for us. I'm going to go and talk to the driver. I'll approach them on the uh, passenger side here. Yeah, oh, it's occupied times two. To How's it going, sir? Authorized with the Los Santos Police Department. The reason why I stopped you is because several reasons. Number one, you're cutting people off in an intersection. Uh, I get you have a nice big muscle car. You got some sweet uh, underglow going on there. Um, but you're, you can't just cut people off just because you don't want to sit and wait for the red light. Um, you also cause an accident on a vehicle as you pulled here onto Bay City Ave, so that is a problem for you. Um, let's go ahead and see if this menu is going to work here. Alright, here we go. Front, unknown suspect. Hi there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... No, I didn't want to do that. Okay. So, that is the passenger. So we have to be on the driver's side to initiate the uh, 
menu with the driver here. All right, let's try this again. How's it going, sir? Can I get your ID? We've got Hades Beats here. <laughs> Sweet name. Interesting name, sir. Uh, go ahead and sit down for my back with you. We're going to go ahead and leave the passenger out of the vehicle. I believe the Stop the Ped picked her up. That's why she got out. But we're going to jump into the computer system here. We'll go ahead and check our driver. We've got Hades Beats. He's valid, no once. Uh, previous citations, expired license, and driving on the sidewalk. And vehicle database. We're going to jump in here, and the vehicle's good. So at this point in time, uh, I'm going to go ahead and issue him a citation for uh, careless driving, reckless driving, something of that nature. So he has a coupe. Uh, let's go ahead and do uniform traffic violations. Passing and turning. We'll actually get him with an improper pass, I think. Uh, see, improper passing. We'll go ahead and get him with improper passing and <laughs> passing and no passing zone. How about that? Improper passing and passing in a no passing zone. Technically, we could get him with failure to make. We could hit him with a freaking boatload of charges, but I'm just going to hit him with improper passing and uh, passing in a no passing zone. So we'll go ahead and finish. We'll log out. We will bring the citation here to the window. Alrighty, sir. So I'm going to be giving you two citations today. The first one is going to be for improper passing. Uh, you literally were not allowed to do what you did. I'm kind of surprised that that driver that was in front of you or was behind you that you cut off didn't jump out and start beating up on you. Uh, the second one is going to be an improper turn. You improper lane change. You can't. Uh, you can't change lanes like that, dude. Not legit. Um, let me go ahead and issue him the citation. Whoops, wrong keybind. Here's the citation, sir. Go ahead and sign at the bottom. It's not an admission of guilt. It's just saying I'll get it taken care of. And I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, the lady that was in the vehicle with you. I'm going to get her back in the car. And as soon as I'm back in my vehicle and it is safe to do so, you may pull away. Have a great day, sir. Drive safe. And don't make stupid driving decisions like you just did. Alrighty, ma'am. Uh, you are free to go. Hop back in the vehicle. And we will be, uh... Or walk away. That works, too. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and be getting back out on the street. 7 King 9, I am code 4. Got citation issued. Go and turn it back to 8. This, uh, this box truck in front of us is setting off car alarms left and right. Holy cow. And this sports car in front of us is very impatient. They are actually driving way too close to this box truck here. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop them real quick. I'm going to run a plate check, see if uh, there's anything on it. Looks like we have a Cornet 2. Target license plate. 2, 4, Frank, Henry, Ocean, 0, 0, 0. A traffic violation. Okay, that, I, I was about a to say that violation. guy back there had a red light, but there's no light violation. at that intersection. Person and this guy's ran a stop sign. So we have a really good cause to stop him now. And he is going to pull way up on the sidewalk here. I can't even get up here to to stop him. But anyway, I thought he was going to hit that bike for a second. We're going to be out with this guy. He is driving like crazy. Pulled up onto the sidewalk. Uh, ran a red light. So, and a stop sign, I think. But anyway, we did call in a play check. He has a lot of flags. I didn't catch what those flags were because I was busy trying not to crash my car. I'm going to go ahead and request a traffic stop backup to come out here and back us up. On, um... Magellan Avenue. So, we're going to go ahead and wait for the backup to get here before we uh, make contact with this person. Looks like our backup is pulling up right now. And we're going to go ahead and hop out. And we'll approach.
How's it going, sir? I am Officer Ice with the Los Santos Police Department. The reason why I stopped you today is because uh, you were following a box truck very closely back there, a couple blocks back. Not to mention, uh, you ran a stop sign and a red light, I believe. And then when I lit you up and pulled you over here, <laughs> you drove up onto the sidewalk. I honestly thought you were going to hit this bike behind us here, but uh, you didn't. What is that screaming going on behind me? Whatever that was. Wow. Okay. Anyway, sir, um, do you happen to have your ID on you today? Hi there. Kiflam. Go ahead and get his ID. We have Earl Basco. I'm going to go ahead and head back to my car and call in and uh, run it through the system. He's nervous and sweating is what my... Uh, police buddy has observed. Either that or it was me. He's got a expired license for 555 days. Uh, previous arrests, he has a DWI with property damage. That must, that must have been fun for him. Uh, and he also has a parking in a no parking zone. Oh, well, it's a repeat offender. He's parking on a sidewalk. <laughs> anyway, vehicle database. Uh, expired insurance and expired registration on the vehicle. This guy does not know how to renew his information. Holy cow. He's got an expired license. He's got expired registration and expired insurance. So we got a winner here, folks. <laughs> expired everything. So I'm going to go ahead and pull him out of the vehicle and have a word with him. I, I want to know if he's drunk or if he's high or something. I really don't know. The only observation I got was he's nervous. And I'm pretty sure my police buddy is bugged out on the other side of the wall. All right, man. Uh, do me a favor, sir. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the pet him here. Nope. Are you getting out? Are you getting back in the vehicle? Are you gonna drive off on me here? Uh, I think we're gonna be in a pursuit here. Hang on a second. Get out of the vehicle, dude. Get out of the car now. Hands up. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Seven King Nine. Suspect just tried to jump in his vehicle and take off. I have one at gunpoint. I'm going to be getting him in custody here. I'm pretty sure this guy tried to t just try to drive off, but he couldn't figure out how to get off the sidewalk. All right, dude. Do you want to explain what the heck you just did? I'm going to go and grab him, bring him off to the side of the road, further question him. Dispatch calling unit and seven, we'll go nine. We've got off the officer required duty for callouts here. Morningwood. Uh, let me go and ask him some questions here real quick. Uh, what are you doing out here today? Why did you just try to run from me? You're relaxing your soul. That immediately makes me think you're nervous because you have drugs on you. Relaxing your soul sounds like something a druggie would say. Uh, where'd you come from? From the grocery store? Okay. Uh, do you have... Well, I already looked him up. Do you live around here? Nope. Okay. Uh, have you done any drugs recently? You're, you were acting a little nervous. No drugs. Drugs make you sick. Okay. Uh, do you have anything illegal on you? I'm going to search you and your vehicle. I don't have the right to touch you. Well, guess what, sir? I'm going to be searching you today. I'm going to go ahead and have my buddy pat him down. I want to see if I can get my... Uh... Wait, what? No, 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 no. Shit, my damn pants. Don't make me use this. Bugged out. Let's try this again. I'm pretty sure my police buddy might be bugged. Okay, that's better. Police buddy is guarding. No, the police buddy's stuck in the brick wall. Uh, I'm gonna go and pat him down myself. I'll just pat him down here. A small revolver, knuckle dusters, a flashlight, and a Playboy magazine. Okay, so he has a gun on him. Let's see if he has a permit. Nope, he does not have a permit, so he is. In possession of a firearm without a permit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab him, put him in the back of my car. I'm going to search his vehicle. That might have been the reason why he was so nervous is because he was carrying a gun without a permit. All right, sir, so go and step in the back of the vehicle for me. Hopefully you don't have anything in that uh, car of yours that's going to escalate your charges up. Which would suck for him. And I don't know how my guy's going to search this car because there's a giant wall right next to us. So we'll go ahead and figure that out here in a second. Maybe they'll just search the boot trunk and the driver's side. Well, his engine bay is in the trunk. 
And now we're going to figure out where this guy is going to go to search the other side of the vehicle. Which I guess is just going to be right here. Or he's just going to stand here. We'll abort the search. We'll see what we found. All right, he's got nothing of interest, a Zippo lighter, nunchucks, and nothing of interest. I don't know why nunchucks is a red item. I guess it's because of a deadly weapon. But anyway, this time this guy is going to be charged with uh, unlawful possession of a firearm. And I'll probably also tack on uh, careless driving on top of that. So I'm going to go and request a tow truck to come out here and pick up his car. I'll be nice to call a flatbed. Assistance needed in I'm going to go ahead Delta and Beach. dismiss my police buddy and let's see if he can figure out his way out of his situation back behind the wall. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the computer and I'm going to get this guy's charges sorted out. So we have Earl Basco. He's going to be charged with, let's see here, firearms and weapons. It's going to be a misdemeanor, I bet. Uh, maybe a felony? Nope, okay, it's gonna be a misdemeanor firearm charge. Uh, concealed firearm, unlawful transport of a firearm, that is probably gonna be the charge we're gonna go with, is unlawful transport of a firearm. I might actually go in and change that to unlawful carry of a firearm, or unlawful possession of a firearm. And then we're also going to charge him with careless driving. We can also tack on his uh, expired, like his expired license, all his expired charges. We can throw those on top of that. So it's probably going to be a misdemeanor traffic. Uh, we could go ahead and do aggressive careless driving. He was tailgating that box truck super hard. If that box truck had backed up at all, this guy would have hit him. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and see if we can hit... Uh, any of his documentation. I don't think I can actually do that, can I? No. Okay. Well, uh, honestly, at this point in time, two charges is enough for this guy. This is the one rare time where I don't have any felony charges on someone down here in the city. So I'm going to go and save and close. We'll log out. We'll request a prisoner transport to come pick this guy up. Back and up then I am going to be back on, out uh, on the street. Magellan Avenue. All right, so our LPR unit just flagged on this tornado that's just to our left here at this intersection. He is now turning right. I'm going to go ahead and flip around here. Flag for no insurance. So I'm going to go ahead and catch up, run the plate of the vehicle. I'll deactivate the LPR so it doesn't flag on another vehicle while we're driving by. 7 King 9, can I get a 28? It's going to be 83 Frank Mary Union 391. Target it's going to be a tornado. 83 Frank Mary Union 391. And it is coming back, no insurance, so I'm going to go ahead and form a traffic stop on it. Go ahead and get this guy to pull up a little more. Pull up a little more for me, sir. That's good right there. All right, 7 King 9, I'm going to be southbound Prosperity Street, cross with Imagination out with that tornado. It's going to be occupied times one, no additionals. So we got a flag, no insurance on the vehicle. That is not good for this guy. If it is indeed no insurance, I'll look it up in the system. This guy is probably going to get towed today. How's it going, sir? I am Officer Ice, Los Angeles Police Department. The reason why I stopped you today is because the ALPR units in my vehicle... Uh, flagged your car for having no insurance. I did call it in through dispatch, and they did report back saying that you didn't have any insurance. Um, do you happen to have your ID on you today? Oh, there's a drunk guy up the street here. All right, Mr. Fisher, go and sit tight for me. There is a very heavily intoxicated guy up the street from us here, so... Uh, if that guy's still walking when we're done with this traffic stop, I will go deal with him after this. So we have Dusty Fisher's our guy. He's valid. No once. His vehicle does have an alert. It is for no insurance. I'm going to make this quick for this guy. I'm going to charge him with his uh, no insurance. Driving without insurance, his vehicle is going to be impounded. In the state of San Andreas, you are required to have insurance. All right, sir, go and step out of the vehicle for me. 
Go ahead and follow me off to the side of the road for just a second. All right, man. Here's the deal. Uh, unfortunately for you, your vehicle is going to be impounded today. You are required by the state of San Andreas to have a valid insurance on the vehicle when it's operating on a public street. So that is what's going to happen to you today. If all goes well, I'll just write you the ticket. I'll give it to you. I'll get a uh, tow truck out here to get your car, and you'll be on your way. I'm actually going to go ahead and get the tow truck now. 7 King 9, can you go ahead and send a tow out to my location for that tow tornado? Truck. Assistance required in the Spooky Canal. So, tow is going to be on their way. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the computer. I'm going to get this guy his citation for driving without insurance. I'm going to get him on his way as soon as I do that. And then we'll go up the street and see if that intoxicated person's still walking. So he's going to be out here with his coupe. Um, we have to go to uniform traffic violations. It is going to be documentation. Insurance. Failure to insure vehicle. We'll finish. We'll log out. Tow is taking the vehicle. I'm going to go and get this guy his citation. And he'll be off. All right, man, so here's the deal. I'm gonna be giving you a citation for failure to insure your vehicle. It is a $170 ticket. Here it is right here, man. Go and sign at the bottom, sign an admission of guilt. It's just saying you'll get it taken care of. If you have any questions, you can contact the Los Santos Police Department. The number should be on that page as well. Other than that, man, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut you loose. You've been cooperative. Have a good day, man, drive safe, and when you get your vehicle back out, get it insured. Hey, have a good one, man. All right, 7 King 9, I'm going to be code 4 on that traffic stop. I got a citation issued. I'm actually going to be on Prosperity as well. There was an intoxicated male walking westbound, or is this northbound? Northbound on Prosperity at the start of my stop. I'm going to go and see if I can identify or locate where he went. And we've got a very reckless bike driver. 7 King 9, southbound, Prosperity. Go ahead and start a unit for a reckless driver. Is that him down there? I just saw someone stumbling over there. Yep, that's him. 7 King 9, be advised. I have located that intoxicated male. Oh, what was that? Major explosion right next to us here. That came from... Oh, I just hit someone. That came from in here. Yep, we have an explosion. 7 King 9, we had a vehicle explode. Uh, this is the... What, what, what is this place in here? Is this the LSPD lot? How do I even get in here? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. 7 King 9, I'm getting, I'm getting assaulted right now. Let me get my taser out here. All right, well, this guy's going to get arrested. All right, dude. Tackle him here. Get on the ground, man. Get on the Don't ground. Crazy turn of events. 17, I got one at gunpoint. Eastbound Vespucci Boulevard. I'm going to get this guy out of here. I'll relay the charges to whoever responds to pick this guy up. I got to figure out how to get inside this. Uh... Come on, where is this? Prisoner transport. 17, I started prisoner transport to my location. I got to figure out how to get in here. Can I just drive in? Okay, well, guess what? Screw it. We're just going to drive in. I don't know how to get in here, so we're just going to push our way through the gate here. Looks like we have fire department already on scene tending to the fire. 7 King 9, I'm going to be on Vespucci Boulevard just behind the Vespucci PD office. We have a, uh, a vehicle. Looks like there is an occupant inside of it, so there is going to be a fatality in this. We do have a vehicle that exploded here in the lower... I don't know, parking lot? I don't know where the heck this is uh, behind the PD, but there is an occupant in the vehicle, so... Um, they didn't put out the fire, so let me go ahead and run to my vehicle, grab a fire extinguisher. Go ahead and get this out. I'm going to go and see if I can distinguish as much of this fire as I can. Did it, it equip the fire extinguisher? No, it did not, which means my fire extinguisher is not working. There we go. Okay. Let me see if we can get rid of most of this fire. I do have very limited ammunition on the fire extinguisher. So... I am probably going to have to... Okay, yeah, we're going to have to request FD to come out here. 
Seven King Nine, can you go ahead and start FD to my location? Unfortunately, there is a uh, a person inside that vehicle, so we'll have to request a coroner unit to come out here. But I I would like to know how a vehicle exploded in the parking lot here. It's a mind-boggling explosion event that occurred. My guess is the FD is going to have some trouble getting in here unless they're just going to drive right through the gate. Yep, there they go. All right, fire department is on scene. And they crash into a building. <laughs> That's wonderful. So they're going to get this fire put out. Look at them all coming up here. There we go. Got Los Santos Finest right here. <laughs> this is great hearing these guys. Uh, this is extremely wholesome hearing these guys. <laughs> this is the most wholesome patrol I've ever been on right here. <laughs> these guys were like, nice work, guys. Very nice work. Look at this. This is great. This is wholesome right here. All right. So they are going to be uh, attempting to resuscitate this person. Realistically, they were burned, so I don't think you'd be able to. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Nasty Paris failed. City of Saints, <laughs> more like City of Death. City of Death. That's great. All right, Seven King Nine. Uh, wrong bind here. We're gonna go ahead and request the coroner units come out here. We're also gonna have to request a wrecker to come pick this car up. On, um, Vespucci Boulevard. So. Based on what happened, here's what I can say probably occurred. This poor fellow's car just spontaneously combusted. That is the only explanation to this. Unless this was an arson or a hate crime or something, someone just destroyed this guy's car. I don't know really what happened, but we're going to go off the basis that this guy's car just spontaneously combusted. So I'm going to go ahead and request a tow service. To come out here, it is gonna have to be a flatbed. This thing cannot be towed with a regular tow truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this scene cleaned up and then I'm gonna get back out on the street. Oh, that dude walking down the street over there is intoxicated. Is this the same guy that was here before? Or is this a different person? This looks like a different person. This is a female, it looks like. 7 King 9. Eastbound San Andreas Ave. I have a intoxicated female, heavily intoxicated female. We have suspicious activity. Go ahead and stop for me here. Units respond code two. All right, this woman appears to be heavily intoxicated. Uh, ma'am, do you happen to have an ID on you? Kiflam. If you can even understand what I'm saying. <laughs> You're too kind. All right, we have Kayla Lazan or Lazan. I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize if I'm butchering it. But we have Kayla here who appears to be heavily intoxicated. It's 7 King 9. Can you go ahead and run a name for me? It's going to be Kayla Lazan. Uh, birthday 7 30, 1980. She's valid with no warrants. All right, ma'am. I'm going to go ahead and ask you this inevitable question Have you been drinking today? You have the right to shut up. Okay. Well, uh, what are you doing out here today? I care because you're stumbling down the street here. You could possibly walk into traffic and get hit. That would be a terrible thing to happen. Uh, where'd you come from? You have the right to main style. Okay, she clearly doesn't want to talk to me. Where are you headed to? At least answer that. You don't want to know. Okay, I, I probably don't want to know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you a breathalyzer here. I just want to see what your blood alcohol content is. Go ahead and blow into this tube for me. And she is point one one two. So she is going to be drunk. She's going to be probably rest of the day for public intoxication. All right, ma'am, go ahead and do me a favor. Turn around, and place your hands behind your back. You are currently being placed under arrest for public intoxication. Kind of happy that I found her walking down the street. She easily could have stumbled into traffic. That would have been a really bad occurrence and looks like people don't know how to go around me this guy behind me or someone here is having a dialogue bug or something going on <laughs> all right i'm gonna go ahead and place her in the back of my vehicle 
heads behind me are having a major issue with the dialogue, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of the road. Yep, strong odor of alcohol from the breath. Okay, this <laughs> this is hilarious, actually. But I'm going to pull off to the side here, kind of partly on the sidewalk. Okay, and apparently this dude is... And we have an occurrence going on in the middle of the road back here. That's probably who's making all the freaking dialogue back there. All right. Well, this woman's going to be uh, coming along with me here. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can figure out what these two guys are doing here in the intersection. And someone just cut me off. Oh, we have a fight. Seven King now. We have a fight in progress. Start me location. Start me code three backup. Hey, everyone, stop fighting. Taze him. Taze him. On the ground, now. On the ground. You disgust me. 17-9. I just had to pummel one. They were coming at me. I'm gonna get this guy in cuffs. Get get on the ground, dude. Holy cow. Alright, we get this guy in cuffs. Looks like the uh, Potential road redemption? I don't think they had any vehicles out here. They might have just been pedestrians walking and they got into a fight. Alright, we have a lot of backup on scene here. This guy's got needle marks in his lower arm. Alright, let me go ahead and... For the time being, I'm going to stop traffic. Just for the time being, so we get this sorted out. 7 King 9, go ahead and start an ambulance in my location. We do have a down pedestrian who was pistol whipped in the face. Required on, um, Hopefully the ambulance will be able to drive through the traffic filter we have here. All right, dude. Uh, do me a favor. Go ahead and follow me off to the side of the road here. I'm going to go ahead and get him. No. What did I just do? Okay, I put him in the back of the vehicle. Okay, well, let me go ahead and... See this ambulance. This ambulance can drive through this filter. Good. What's going on? Yeah, man. I literally was just up the street with an intoxicated female who actually happens to be in the back of my car here, and uh, someone's just sitting here repeatedly talking over and over again. It was kind of annoying wow. at first, but it kind of got funny. And then I turn around and look, and there's two guys sitting here in the intersection. They look like they're about to start throwing punches. So I flipped around and pulled over here, and sure enough, as soon as I pulled up, they started smacking each other. So this poor gentleman here, who's on the ground. Ended up charging at me. I pistol whipped him in the face, and this other guy was smart, and he he uh, he got on the ground with his hands up. So, all right. So for roleplay purposes, we'll say this guy got knocked out, and he was transported to the hospital with a concussion. Because obviously, there's a chance in GTA when you hit someone in the face with a gun, they're gonna die. But again, we'll go ahead and uh, for roleplay purposes say he is just unconscious. And uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of him here in just a second, actually. I'm going to go and go through this menu for the corner to clean him up. Um, I'm going to clean up all my backup here. I'm going to go off to the side of the road and figure out how I'm going to proceed with both of these people. I do have to work with the charges for both of them. The female is going to be charged with public intoxication. The male is going to be charged with fighting in public. I'm going to go ahead and just jump in the computer and do that right now. And we'll just call a transport out to pick both these people up. So we have Jay Lazary, as I'm assuming here the male is in our vehicle. He has an expired license. He's been previously arrested for violation of parole. That's a felony charge. Well, he's probably going to be charged with another violation of parole if I had to guess if he's still on parole. And mostly traffic citations for his previous citations. Let me go ahead and check Kayla Lazan here. She has a clean record, but unfortunately for her, she is going to be arrested for public intoxication today. So, uh, it's going to be, uh, let's see here. Misc public. Public intoxication. I had to honestly look for a good 10, 15 seconds to find this. She's going to be charged with public intoxication today. And that is the only charge she's going to be receiving. Our other guy we just picked up who was in a fight, he is going to be arrested today 
for fighting in public, if that is even a charge in here. We'll find out here in a second. Crimes against public. It is going to be a miscellaneous or public charge. He is going to be charged with fighting in public. The most fitting charge you can give him. He's probably also going to receive a parole violation charge again, but uh, I'll let the uh, people down at the station take care of that. So we'll save and continue here. We'll log out. Seven King Nine, go ahead and start me a prisoner transport out to my location. We'll go ahead and do two suspects in one vehicle. On, um, I'm going to clear traffic control so I can get these people moving. I did not realize I still had it up. But as soon as a prisoner transport gets out here, we'll get these two on the way. And we'll be back out on patrol. All units, suspect last scene in Little Soul. Uh, we have a wanted suspect on the run call coming in here. It is down here in Little Soul. It's a high priority call, code 3 response. I don't have a description on the suspect, but I am in the area. 7K9, go and show me in the area. I went to the dentist. And we have a guy running here. I'm assuming this is going to be him. 17 9 be advised. Oh. Oh, I just stopped him from carjacking someone. Get on. Alright, we're going to be in a foot pursuit dispatch. Southbound Rockford Drive. I'm going to go ahead and get my taser out because I'm going to see if I can get close enough to him to stun him. I probably should have ran back to my vehicle and grabbed that. And I don't want to tackle this guy. Uh, let me go ahead and sacrifice a little bit of ground here. Request some backup units. Looks like he is going to be potentially attempting to kick. He's going to be carjacking someone. Out of the car, out of the car, out of the car, out of the car. Living King 9, shots fired, shots fired. Alright, I'm going to haul back to my vehicle. If it still exists in game, I'm going to be rejoining the pursuit here. And it looks like my car is still here. Alright, so this guy carjacks someone. Unknown if he's armed or not. Alright, we're in the pursuit. I gotta figure out where the heck they are. Looks like they're on the highway. Uh, I'm not really sure of the quickest way to get over there. So I'll go ahead and parallel until I can find a way to get on the highway here. Careful we don't lose control of our vehicle. We are going to go ahead and try to get on the highway right somewhere around here, possibly. Is there nobody on the highway here? Whoa. Unintentional drift. All right, we finally managed to make our way onto the highway. It was an absolute nightmare. I did an accidental stunt jump, <laughs> which I thought was an on-ramp. This person's going to hit me or take that back. Suspect is still fleeing from our officers. Looks like our officers are actually lagging behind. But I'm going to see if I can catch up to become the primary unit in the pursuit. And we did lose them. However, he's not very far away. I'm going over 115 miles an hour right now on Route 20. Oh my goodness, I almost hit that person. Purpose in sight. I can see him way up there. 7K9. I'm going to be third in the pursuit. Currently Route 20 westbound. Going over the bridge. Um, suspect headed onto the freeway. Yep, we're still on the freeway. We're on Interstate 5 now. High rate of speed. Very high rates of speed. In excess of 100 miles an hour, and this guy almost brake checked me. Oh, signal seven next. Major signal seven. Shots fired, dispatch. This guy's trying to. Is that guy trying to steal my car? Is that what he was trying to do? I'm hoping this guy took this freeway because I don't know which way he went. All right, suspect is continuing. Looks like this officer might have attempted a pit and failed. We're now northbound Interstate 5. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take primary. I don't have a push bar on my vehicle, so I can't perform a pit. It looks like this officer's gonna go in here for the pit, and he's gonna fail. That's probably why he keeps getting stuck behind, is because he's failing. Oh, major signal seven. This might be it for the end of the pursuit here. Yep, it's gonna be it right here. Let me climb back up. Get out of the vehicle now, out of the car. Out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. I don't think he can actually get out of the vehicle. He's stuck. All right, I'm gonna have to move this big rig truck here. You gotta hop out of the vehicle for me, dude. Don't do anything stupid. I'm gonna move this guy's truck here. I don't think I can move this guy's truck. I'm gonna have to Austin Powers this to get to a point where I can. All right, we got him out. I'm gonna jump up here on the <laughs> on the hood of the truck. Get on the ground, man. Seven King. Now we got one at gunpoint. I think the female that's in the vehicle was the driver of the vehicle. All right, I'm gonna go and get this guy in cuffs here, very unlegitimately. But all right, we got one in custody. Dispatch. Well, that was a very interesting pursuit. Started off with me being caught way behind because I decided to pursue him on foot, and I sacrificed that gap to call backup units. He carjacked someone. We went on a very long, extremely high speed pursuit on the highway system. We managed to get this guy sandwiched between this truck, and the females in the vehicle, I believe, is the driver. She's the owner of the vehicle, so. We go and shut off my siren. That AI passenger, or that AI car siren, is not going to be able to get shut off. All right, dude. Let's get you in the back of my vehicle. We'll get this this road cleared up here. Get him in the back of the car here. We go and clear all the backup units off scene. We're good for now. I don't need you anymore, dude. All right, I dismissed him. I don't know why I wasn't dismissing him, but. All right, let me go ahead and get off the highway here if I can find an exit. Or we'll just come right over here. I don't want to have that siren blaring. All right, so this guy uh, initially was a wanted suspect, or he had a warrant or something along those lines. I'll actually go ahead and stop right here. I don't want to fall down the embankment. But this guy was initially a wanted suspect. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the system and look him up real quick to figure out what exactly he ran from. Well, of course, it's not gonna come up with anything in the system, but I believe the initial call out that came in was that he was wanted and he was fleeing from the police. So he's gonna be charged with that. He's gonna be charged with a boatload of crimes today. So we're gonna go to town on this guy here in the computer for his charges. He's gonna be arrested out here on the La Porta Freeway. Many, many charges are gonna be filed against him today. Traffic, let's go ahead and go through everything. Uh, let's see here. Aggravated fleeing or attempt to elude. Yeah, we'll go ahead and hit him with that. Hit and run, hit and run, hit and run, leaving the scene. No, hit and run. Uh, let's see here. Leaving the scene of an accident with bodily injury. Leaving the scene of an accident. He did hit multiple vehicles, so we are going to charge him with leaving the scene of an accident with bodily injury. We'll go ahead and leave leaving the scene of an accident out. We'll go ahead and here to misdemeanor traffic violations. He is going to be charged with. Driving the wrong way, reckless driving, fleeing or attempting to loot LEO, uh, aggressive careless driving, unlawful speed plus 30, reckless endangerment. How many charges can we put on this thing before it doesn't let us put any more charges? Um, let's see what else. What else can we hit him with? Uh, crimes against the state may be resisting. Resisting arrest with violence. Yep, okay. Violent crimes. He did carjack someone. Let's see here. Escaped custody. That is what we need to do. Escape custody. It's a felony. And let's see here. 
We need to get um, carjacking. So it's probably going to be a theft charge. Carjacking. There we go. Carjacking. Grand Theft Auto. Um, let's see here. Other than that, I really don't think I can charge him with anything else off the top of my head. I mean, I could probably go to town on this guy if I went through every single one of these available charges to find something. But at this time, I am just going to hit him with all these charges. Let's go ahead and individually count them off. We have one, two, three, four, five, six felonies. And then one, two, three, four, five, six uh, misdemeanors. So this guy's going in for 12 charges. That is the most amount of charges I've ever put on any one person in this game. So we'll go ahead and save and close. I'm going to go ahead and pull up his arrest history. <laughs> this guy didn't have any history before this. Now he has 12 charges <laughs> with 6 felonies. That is great. That's fantastic. In All right, downtown. we have a prisoner transport on the way. I'm going to go and end my patrol here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. Consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to try to get more county patrols uh, in here because I honestly dislike doing city patrols because the traffic is crazy. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. The county is a lot more calm. There's not a lot of people up there. And in my opinion, it's a lot more manageable. Dude, just make a U-turn right there. Holy cow. Let's see if he can figure out how to get over here. Yeah, he's just going to teleport to the other side of the road. Anyway, guys, uh, again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next LSPD Far. Take care. All right, we're going to go ahead and get up onto the level he's on going the wrong way. Oh, no, that was the right way. All right, we're going to be attempting to catch up Pursuit. Unintentional slow-mo epicness right here. We're probably not going to land this if I had to guess. I thought that was a, a ramp to go down. Hit the ground already. 